Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Trancher Dan here, and uh, got a really awesome unboxing to do. Now this is nothing living. This is an enclosure um, sent by the spider's lair. Now before I begin opening this box, I'm going to quickly just read something um, that he sent me. Um, won't take too long, and then I will continue with the unboxing. Okay. I want to apologise as well because I know you can only see from like my shoulders down but I've got no one to hold my camera, I don't have my tripod so I've got it resting on a stool and it just so happens that it cuts my head out so I apologise for that but uh, you know so anyway this letter that he's uh, included it says hey Daniel firstly let me personally thank you for accepting to do a review of my current adult size of Volvo acrylic enclosure I'm quite new to the market but have been a transfer fanatic for quite a while and have been an avid watcher of your videos on YouTube along with many others. So thank you to, uh, to you for that. It's nice to know that you enjoy my videos. Um, and he's basically uh, this. I'm going to kind of go through this uh, to just tell you a little bit about the enclosure from him. Okay. Um, so all of these are handmade and a lot of time effort goes into them and uh, they are an investment um, these are 50 pounds each so these are not cheap enclosures however I have seen the quality of them and they are outstanding they really are um, they're a solid enclosure which is an absolute bargain and he said this especially uh, you know when people send uh, spend so much money on a certain species of tarantula or another invert and they put them inside a cheap tacky looking plastic tub from the pound shop which is true um, you know I don't like doing that, I try and have mine in nice enclosures or nice, you know, tubs or whatever. Um, he said he's done a lot of research and he hopes that these will be strong and uh, they are really nice to look at, they're just beautiful enclosures. So the hinges allow for you to fully open the lid so that it rests on the left side. Uh, the air vents have been laser cut for a professional finish. The air holes are, uh, they're appropriate size so that they allow airflow to pass in and out of the enclosure, but at the same time, uh, they hold in just enough heat and humidity and they also make sure that the tarantula can't get legs through and things like that. There are four fil uh, silicon uh, like sticky things on the bottom which I will show you which keep it you know stops it from sliding around um, and the use acrylic weld glue to basically um, join the acrylic it kind of becomes one piece almost so um, and then obviously the actual um, the acrylic itself is four millimeters thick, uh, then really nice, uh, you know, good quality acrylic. It's forty centimeters in height, twenty centimeters in width, and twenty centimeters in depth. So um, you know, really really nice. And also with every enclosure, there are two glass locks. So um, and he just finishes by. Um, saying overall thanks so much for doing this and I hope you enjoy your enclosure which I really will I've been looking forward to this for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and he's looking forward to seeing my review for it um, and yeah thanks again and that's from Gregory from the spider's lair and I will put up uh, some links around now to Transradix video and to his Facebook page and all different kind of things so any annotations that pop up please please check them out um, really really nice guy and uh, yeah now I'm going to start unboxing it. So, uh, got my pot knife. Just cut through the uh, the tape. And I do already have it, a spider ready to be moved into this. And I just cannot wait, if I'm honest, to get it in it. I've been looking forward to, to doing it for ages.
this is the enclosure. I will bring the camera over so you can have a better look at it in just a second. But uh, you see, this is it from all the sides. It pretty much looks the same. Again, air holes on the top. And just on the underside here, you can see the, uh, the silicon uh, stands. Yeah, they stop it from sliding around and they're really nice. Now what I'm going to do, as you can see here, there are two clips. Uh, and he actually provides a padlock, which I'll show you in just a second. And these open up really nicely. I'll put the plants back. And... Uh, There we go. Now I know in here there are padlocks. What I'm going to do is just tip this into here. So that's all the wrapping done. Now with this enclosure as well, what you'll also get is a, uh, a card, Lokes on Facebook, um, Spiders Lair, handcrafted tarantula enclosures. Um, just bring that closer, if you can see that. But I will probably actually use that as, um, as the main picture for this video. Uh, I'm hoping Quirky won't mind me doing that. Honestly guys, check this out because it's a fantastic enclosure. And then you also get these two padlocks. Okay then everyone, so I'm going to just give you a quick overview of the exterior of the enclosure and show you, you know, it in better detail. So uh, yeah, you have these, like I said, two hinges on the side here, two locks, which open as so. Really nice, clean swing on the door. It's just made such such uh, stuttering, made to such a high standard. You can see it just fits absolutely perfect. There is no gap there. And here, of course, you put them on. They close completely flush against it. That there. Of course, you have your two padlocks. One for the top one for the bottom and that will stop your pokies or avics or whatever you want to put in here from getting out so um, really really nice so the air holes is stated are drilled with a uh, not drilled they're laser cut and the quality is fantastic I wish I had bought one of my enclosures down to show you how I drill my holes <laughs> it's just like a fork <laughs> just jabbing it not very clean to be honest but uh, that's, that's a perfect job. Yeah, it's done. All right, for me then. So yeah, both sides completely symmetrical. Cut just fantastically, just so, so clean. Again, air holes on the top. Um, and yeah, I mean, the quality of these enclosures, I mean, I don't... I don't think that my camera will pick it up. Quality of these is just absolutely perfect. They say that you get what you pay for. I mean, I'm running my finger along there. There is no lip. That just feels like one piece of plastic. Along there. Doesn't matter where you run your finger, it's just so smooth. My acrylic work is pretty terrible at school, to be honest, so. I could never build anything like this, I don't think. Okay. Definitely not to this quality. It's. Um, I could talk all day about how good this enclosure is. It's um, just fantastic. I'm going to be doing a rehousing video. Um, I might try and get it done today, in fact. If my substrate is dry and ready to use. you um, With this acrylic, you don't want to use heat mats on it. Because it can warp the acrylic. And you also don't want to put... Um, you know, you don't want to put like anything too damp in there, kind of thing, because again, that can cause problems with the acrylic. Um, but honestly, 
I mean, you can see the packaging there from, you know, he's actually used, you know, pretty much three quarters of a box of poly chips and probably about four rolls of bubble wrap to wrap this enclosure up. It's just so nice. Um, Trancher Addict did a video of this, which I will put up again up here, you can check that out. And he will say the exact same as me. Uh, these enclosures are fantastic. If you've got a spider, a really nice pretty spider um, that you want to house up in something like this, you don't want to put them in sweet jars and have them, you know what I mean? You want to have a nice enclosure that looks really, really nice. Have a nice spider in there. And, you know, I just, I, I can't rate this enclosure high enough. There are no faults with that at all. It's just completely, you know, it's just top quality. And like I said, these are expensive. You pay 50 quid per enclosure. Um, they do these, I say they, Gregory, I apologize. Gregory does these in Arboreal, which is what this is. Obviously for Arboreal tarantulas or inverts. And you can also get them in Terrestrial, which is what Tarantula Relic's got. And honestly, oh, these are just fantastic. And I can't wait to put my I'm going to put my spider in it. Um, I'm going to get it ready, get the spider moved into it. I'll do another video of that. It's just, it's faultless. It really is just absolutely faultless for an enclosure. And it will be lived in uh, nicely, you know, by my, my spiders. They will enjoy living in here in this. So please, guys, check out the links. Um, I'll put them all in the description. Check him out. If you've got a nice tea that you want to spoil, buy one of these because they are just. Uh, I, in fact, I will say, and you know, anyone who would take anything that I say um, seriously, uh, this is the highest quality enclosure that I've seen. I've, I'm not going to name any other brands, but I've seen some other ones where they have you know little gaps in them and things like that this is a 10 out of 10 enclosure and this is the one uh, which over the t over time I want to try and get every single one of my teas with the exception of Zelda <laughs> um, and my bigger like bird eater spiders into one of these because they are just so well so well made um, and they are that's beautiful you get some of these on your shelf and they really do look the part so this is my unboxing of this enclosure guys I know I rambled on a little bit and I do apologize but I don't know what else to say about it really just please check out the links in the, in the description and um, you know if you buy an enclosure let him know that you saw on the video just so that he knows that it is uh, you know that my review was helpful to him and yeah that's awesome I, I literally I'm itching now to go and get my spider be housed into this um, <laughs> I just can't wait she's gonna love it I think I'm probably more excited than the spider <laughs> so everyone thank you for watching like I said please 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 check out the links in the description Gregory thank you for everything um, I'm just gonna show you his card again very quickly there you go is it focusing let me get this focused because you have to see it properly even though I will put it as a picture okay there you go Spider Slayer, like I will put this as a picture um, for the actual video anyway, I will get that done. But uh, yeah, seriously, honestly, I could not be happy with this enclosure. And like I said, Gregory, thanks again. Um, fantastic feedback, conversations, uh, but you know, from the side since I bought the enclosure to it being shipped, um, you know, fantastic customer service. Just, I cannot recommend him enough go now just go and do it <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching everyone take care of yourselves Gregory thanks again and uh, yeah I will see you soon so take care everyone and uh, make sure you go and order yourself one of these handmade 10 out of 10 highest quality enclosures that I've came across so yeah cheers guys take care I'll see you later